Hi. Oh my goodness, my voice. Hi, everybody. It's Ray. It's life and vibe. And Tim is spitting out content oh, left, right, and center today, which is why I kind of undertook this uh, enormous challenge this week. And I think this is video number 17 now on day four. So I'm actually, I've been keeping track of the numbers in the video description so I don't lose my place. Uh, but we got the We've got the, the end of the trifecta. We had the morning chat, the crushing it with Christ. And uh, now we're going to finish off with uh, his lack of expertise uh, regarding Social Security. And to kind of clickbait the audience, he said, except for one reason and one reason only. So, you know, but he doesn't really, you know, people have heard this and they know that he's not an expert. So anyway, let me throw out my fair use in case Tim thinks I'm, you know, trying to steal his excellent content regarding um, Social Security here in the United States. Um, and so, yeah, um, obviously this is just for entertainment purposes only. And uh, we always like to put out a disclaimer here. I know, I know, you can skip it along. Just skip it along. I don't feel insulted. I have to do this. You know, I have to CYA, as we say <laughs> in nursing. But yeah. It's just uh, my opinion, my opinion only, even though I am a registered nurse here in the United States and trained to be a nurse practitioner. I know I keep saying it, but I'm trying to put my expertise out there because Tim has no expertise that I'm um, seeing at this time. Well, there is some expertise and, uh, you know, I don't want to start out the video that way. <laughs> so there's an expert getting, getting people to follow his cult allegedly. Okay. So let me make me small. Mm. Sorry if I, my nose is horrific to see. All right. And we just got the mother of all, all of my favorites here. And Oh, one thing before I did start, sorry, I'll make myself big again. Oh Lord. I did want to thank blind views for becoming a member of my channel. Um, I really appreciate it. So if anybody else is interested, there's a join button down below. I know it sounds like a griff, but it does help, you know, the cost of this hobby and hopefully bringing you guys uh, some entertainment a little different way. Um, obviously, I challenged myself this week knowing it was going to be probably insane, <laughs> but that's OK. <laughs> I have to be home calm anyway, um, and hopefully tomorrow I can get a proper start. But yes, thank you, Blind Views. Um, it, it really does support this channel and as grad student. You know, because I can't, I, I, I'm enjoying this and I hope that some of my, like I said, my medical knowledge, and I really appreciated the support about people needing to see their physicians and their care providers. It's important, folks. Don't listen to Tim. Don't listen to Tim. Tim's not savvy. <laughs> All right, Tim, let me make sure you're sped up because we know, okay, good, 1.25. Oh, gosh. He's got... This, we've got another video in the RV. This is Sarasota Tim coming to you from Laughlin, Nevada. How are you 98,000 beautiful souls doing out there today? Plus and counting. Uh, today's video, I wanted to talk to you about, I am probably one of the most popular YouTubers uh, that discuss social security. <laughs> uh, while there has been maybe many other videos that had more views, I think that my videos have- I don't know, I think Dr. Ed Weir has more um, subscribers than you, Tim. Um, I'm going to check this out because I think he may actually have more. There he is. Sorry, I had to put his name in like one time. Okay. Let me get over to his channel and I'm going to share his chat. Okay. So let me share this tab real quick. Okay. So here we have Dr. Ed Weir, PhD, you know, that education stuff. <laughs> Former social security manager, uh, 71 subs, uh, Tim, and 420 videos. You literally forced this man out of retirement. Um, obviously his views are much higher than mine and much higher than yours in the last 30 days. He's had 1.17 million uh, views on his channel in the last 30. My, mine are going up, but obviously 
and he's growing. He's only put out 420 videos. What was his most recent? Let's see what somebody with education. Divorced. <laughs> oh, this is epic. Okay, we're going to take a quick look at this video here um, that's discussing, um, obviously we can put that down, uh, divorce spouse benefits for 2024. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know we went off a of Tim real fast, but it's funny because I wanted to talk about divorce spouse uh, benefits. I wanted to talk about this and it's a very short video. So let's just watch it because I understand that Tim is the divorced spouse getting benefits. Okay. And there is a rule that talks about you can't get married. So you have to stay unmarried in order to collect these benefits. The person whose benefits you're collecting under can get remarried. But you, if you get remarried and you're the recipient of those benefits as the ex-spouse, then you aren't eligible for those. So I wonder if he talks about this. Can we hear an expert before we get into Tim? Just real quick. Let me make sure he's not sped up. Hold on. <laughs> I know this is off, off what I'm doing, but I just want to hear an expert. And then we'll hit. Because Subscriber question. If I apply for divorce spouse benefits, will I still receive my social security? Yes. So if you have to, if the person your divorced spouse is still out there alive and kicking, then you have to file for benefits on your own record. And then if the divorced spouse record benefit amount is twice your amount, over twice your amount, then you can get benefits on their record up to that, up to 50%, depending on when you file. If you wait until your full retirement age, then you'll get 50% of that benefit amount. And remember, okay, you go through it, you have to not be currently married because the previous spouse is still alive and kicking. It's completely different if we're talking about survivor benefits. But if the divorced spouse is still alive, then you have to be single now, unmarried, and your benefit amount, again, has to be less than half of theirs, and you have to have been married for 10 years or longer. And All right. So for fair use, I'm just going to stop. So I find it quite interesting to listen suddenly to uh, Dr. Ed Weir here. So if you do want to find out about actual social security and some real information from somebody who knows what they're talking about, I suggest going to this channel. I'm going to link this below. So what I have understood is that Tim is collecting his social security based on his ex-spouse's benefits. And so that would have meant that Tim had to meet these criteria in order to be able to claim under her. So I don't know. Just seems like, you know, something that, <laughs> you know, kind of alludes to his work history, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And it doesn't necessarily have to be consecutive. You can have to have been married to that person for five years got divorced, and as long as you remarried the following calendar year and then married another five or six years for a total of 10 years, then you could have collect uh, divorce spouse benefits on that person's record. And you've also got the annual earnings limit. So if you're under your full retirement age, then you have to stay under the annual earnings limit of this year, 2024, is $22,320. Anything over that, Social Security holds back $1 for every $2 you go over. And I don't think that was is what Tim says. <laughs> so you're saying that if you didn't wait till full retirement age, which is what Tim did not do, then you could only go up to $22,000 and then social security starts. So how is Tim not paying back all this money? This doesn't, can I hear that again? Just, can I, can I hear that just one more time? Cause I want this to make sense for me. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, so if you're under your full retirement age, okay, I'm going to let him, I'm going to let the small man stop to wear cause he's small. Retirement age, then you have to stay under the annual earnings limit of this year, 2024 is $22,320. Anything over that, Social Security holds back $1 for every $2 you go over. And one more thing, a lot of people... 
So I believe that Tim always talks about this $54,000. So I'm curious, is he under spousal benefits, ex-spouse benefits, or is he misunderstanding the uh, law, um, social security and looking under spouse and, and thinking he's getting it that way rather than as a divorced spouse? I'm curious if anyone knows actually what, if he did really claim under the ex-spouse, this is interesting because he didn't retire at full retirement age. So for every $2 he makes over that amount, he has to give it back to social security. So for anything he made, I mean, if he made a lot of money, especially with um, the channel, then he might be owing back all of his social security almost. If it's more than, you know, if it depends on how much you make. Oh, shoot. It's a lot of. So basically, if he earned, uh, say, 40 some thousand dollars, wouldn't he? Oh, wow. That's pretty big returning. Uh, he never talks about this. Sorry. I'm just, I'm learning. That's why I have to listen to this before I listen to Tim. People ask about common law. If your particular state where you lived at that particular time recognizes common law, then you might be able to get divorce spouse benefits based on common law. The fact now, is he trying to get benefits from Tammy now? <laughs> By bringing her in some state that's got these regulations, it could be a sneaky one. I'm just alleging. <laughs> Federal government has to abide by state regulations when it comes to marriage and divorce. So you can absolutely collect divorce spouse benefits, but you always have to file for benefits on your own record first, unlike survivor benefits. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, Dr. Weir. Thank you, Dr. Weir. I appreciate that. All right, guys. I, I, I'm going to make sure that I bring Tim back up and on. Ah, that was interesting. I felt like I learned a lot there. I know for those of you who were here for Tim and his sage advice about retirement, I'm sorry. I just, oh, social security. I just love Dr. Weir. He's so smart. Okay, this is going to be I long. Condensed listen. more people and created more controversy, I should say, uh, with some people in the community in the internet world out there regarding uh, my opinion. I am an advocate on collecting social security at day one, the very earliest day you can collect. And when is that? That's at the age of 62 years old. And what I discovered when I started making these videos was a lot of people, hundreds of people, maybe thousands weren't even aware. But they're not collecting the full retirement. <laughs> and there is a difference between that you really are just saying it's worth five years and you come up with all these equations on a piece of paper. I, I need to find videos from Dr. Weir that talk about this because I think your advice is really bad. Obviously, it's Tim. Let me make sure his 1.25. Yes. He's they can fast. collect Social Security as early as 62 years old. A lot of people were uh, under the impression because they heard about 65 as when you get your Medicare. They thought that's when Social Security began. They heard 67 or 66 or whatever, if you're old enough, uh, when you reach what they call FRA, that stands for full retirement age. Mm -hmm. And a lot of other people have heard different ages you can get it, but if you take it any earlier. I haven't heard that. I actually read it on the social security site. <laughs> so reading it from a fact-based source, that is the source that gives information because they run social security, is not heard. You cannot lump this all the same. It's not how it works. There are very defined regulations regarding social security. It's just not someone like you, Tim, coming out and claiming you know all this stuff about social security. I'm telling you, Dr. Ed Weir is going to blow you out the water when it comes to that topic. Then the last minute that you're gonna get ripped off, that you're gonna lose money, you're going to be uh, taking less than you're entitled to, and that only a fool would do that. Well, I'm here to tell you, I won't say that you're a fool if you wait past 62, but I will say that you are ignorant to the facts. And the fact is, you will collect more money in your bank, in your pocket, 
your I'm curious if you're getting your social security under your ex-spouse's benefit. You then did not wait to full retirement age. It then says the allowed amount is only $22,253 or some weird amount like that. And you say that you can go up to $54,000, I think is what you say. So that wouldn't even add the 22 to 22 to make like 40 some, 5,000. So I don't know where the, that 54 is coming from. <laughs> unless because then you have to add on it said a two for one you know and that's money you have to give back so once you reach that forty five thousand ish threshold for every two dollars you make over that amount of money you then have to return a dollar back of your social security benefit so you start to basically instead of making two dollars an hour or two dollars for that time, you're only gonna make a dollar. <sighs> That's a pretty low threshold. So I am curious as to whether you are on divorced spouses benefits and how well then do you understand social security? Because it makes a difference in your case, absolutely. And you cannot get married, obviously. So you mean Tammy are always gonna be living in sin. Because if you did, you lose the social security. That's what they state. <laughs> Free money. Sorry, let your check, the money you paid your taxes into based on your best 35 years of earning by collecting your Social Security from day one at the age of 62. And of all of my videos that I've made, I always make this one stipulation that there's only one reason and one reason only that you should not collect your Social Security at age 62. And that is that you're making so much money at 62 years old and you love your prison job so much that you don't want to quit doing that and you just want to keep on doing it and forget about life and freedom and retirement and you just want to keep going to your prison job and keep making that great money just listen to the difference to how tim is out here presenting his information about social security and this like message that he's delivering and how it was delivered by dr ed weir who would you rather listen to Tim, who's like a good old boy, just one of us, or Dr. Ed Weir, who knows what he's talking about. I I'm still going to Dr. Ed Weir. You know, this good old boy persona, cowboy, it's just, this is not good because you're giving people bad information and it's negligent on your part and it should come with warnings. You're making. In that case, more power to you. This video is not for you. You just keep on. Uh, go into your prison job and you just let life pass you by and then one day you'll especially if you hear somebody who's 65 years old pontificating from the rv that he got from an eidl loan allegedly well actually it's not alleged because he actually put a video out explaining how he did it so luckily that video was captured and he didn't get to do a dirty delete because there's nothing worse than dirty deleters tim are you a dirty deleter you had to dirty delete that refrigerator one. Keep your pants on, Tim. To the side, maybe it's at 67 or 70, some people say, uh, very few though, uh, that I'll quit then. And then I'll live my life when I'm in a, you know, rocking chair drinking Geritol. Sure. All right, you do that. Let me know how that works out for you. For the rest of us, we are ready to quit our prison jobs. We are ready to get our free check. We are ready to be able to supplement it. Because it's not going to be. How is it free? I mean, people pay into the Social Security. It's only free if you are getting it seriously under your ex spouse's benefits. Then you've misunderstood the regulation about how it works for you in your situation and how much you have to uh, are able to make before you have to pay two for one return back to Social Security. <laughs> you got there's not they're they're very strict on those regulations. Unless you're just, you know, not filing your taxes properly. Be enough to support us. It's not ever, it's never been intended, no matter what age you quit and get your check. Is that why you try to get all the write offs, Tim? So that you look like you're not making anything, you know, everything that's profit from the YouTube channel, you're literally putting back into this, this stuff you crank out <laughs> 10 times a day. I'm just curious.
I have a lot of questions. And the more I watch you, the more, sadly, the more questions I have. And especially, you know, I don't like the type of advice that could potentially, you know, people, some people can't discern that you're not somebody who is qualified to give any information on this subject. And it's not fair for you to be out here misleading people and trying to make out that you have all of these items around you because of having retired early. When in fact you took out almost a sixty thousand dollar loan to acquire these items, depreciating assets, worst of all, and it only grows a little bit by waiting. It only uh, it's, it's only to help you. It's not to support you. If you had no bills whatsoever, maybe, and you live very very frugal, maybe you could have enough money on your Social Security uh, to in twenty twenty four. You probably could have done it just fine just a few years ago, but. We all know what's happened with inflation. So let me explain. Uh, Social Security is a free check. I call it a free check, free money. And people push back because they don't get my sayings. I have sayings. And my. It's not a saying when you're trying to be out here, like ramming it down people's throats. Okay. You're trying to mislead people here with saying about 62, don't wait. We just roll this stuff out all the time. I'm so glad the views are actually falling off on this. You know, you're hoping it will catch a game. But I think people realize that your advice is pretty, you know, it's not qualified. And people are starting to understand that you do need to have people who know what they're talking about, especially with something as complex as Social Security. Not Tim trying to mislead people. And also, there are benefits to working till later in life. There are studies that do show that you, you have less cognitive decline. People enjoy interacting with people. I'm certainly hoping that I maintain good health and that I can enjoy a career. You're making out like I should be retired in seven years. I would only have a little bit of time in the career that I have worked so hard to attain my life. <laughs> I've got so much education. I've got a teaching degree. I studied Spanish, advanced Spanish, así como no, en la Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México, así como no, hablo español. <laughs> so yes, and I don't speak like school Spanish. I speak Mexican slang too. <laughs> anyway, oh, dang it, let me let him go. It'll be the longest video ever again. my money. That's my money I paid in my taxes all my life, and it's based on my best 35 years of my earnings. And so I get seventeen hundred dollars every month for the rest of my life every month like clockwork i wake up at midnight one in the morning and there it is automatic deposit when my grandparents got it they were mailed a check and somehow or another even in those days they mailed it and those people got it right on the first of the month and if it fell on a weekday a weekend i should say they would get it earlier and it never failed i mean they they get it out there to you but today no one gets checks we get it, uh, automatic deposit so you wake up and you got that money. It's a wonderful feeling that every month I look so forward to it. When I when I was going to collect my Social Security, I was counting it down for two years. And we're going to get into about how you collect it. But I was counting it down thinking, man, every morning, I mean, uh, every month when I get my seventeen hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars or thirteen hundred dollars or seven <laughs> or two thousand dollars, whatever it is, the amount that you're going to get. Whenever you get that every month, you've got um, already. I think I'd rather just keep on working and keep like making very good income uh, you know at the moment obviously i'm a graduate student so <laughs> but i know what i'm working towards i have such little time left um why are you making it like it's so old i feel like i'll be in the prime of my career at 62. <laughs> like most people who have success that's the time when they really start balling often 50 60s career wise wiser you have experience you've been able to gather you know it's not just the end of the road for everybody people some people actually enjoy their work i mean i get nervous because i know that the work that i do is very important to the person that i'm in charge of their care for and i take that responsibility extremely seriously i i really do and so anyway Whatever, Tim. I'm, I'm looking forward to working till 72, 75 if I feel like it in practice. 
You know, I so don't see why I can't be in practice. Still making good money as a psychiatric mental health, if you're curious. Buddy, before you walked out the door, you didn't have to do anything. The rest of your life, you get this check. And that's generally enough to, you know, pay, a, uh, pay for your food, pay for your roof over no. your head, uh, your rent or your mortgage or something like that. <laughs> and the reason it's going to be enough is because when you get to be 62 years old and you're going to quit your job, and get your social get your social security check. You're obviously not going to be one that's still uh, paying on a big mortgage and has five credit cards and two car loans and all kinds of debt on everything you can imagine and subscriptions for. I'm so curious as to who's audience is. Is it people who are are actually 62? Because I'm turning 55 soon, and it, you're certainly not something that I would look for for information about planning for social security. And I'm not even thinking about retirement. I, I feel like I still have a career of more time in healthcare in front of me. <laughs> so it's, like, it's part of the reason why I'm going into more advanced practice because it would, you know, after a while I can go into private practice. So, I mean, I have other goals. Why would I not then want to work part-time in private practice? There's so many people that need mental health services. Why wouldn't I want to keep involving myself with that until I, why, why would I want to stop? It's, it's a joy to be able to work and, and contribute to society rather than talk about getting free money. It, is, it sounds like it's going to take a Netflix and this and that, you know, you're paying your landscaper, your pool guy, uh, you're doing all this stuff that you don't have no business owing. You need to be debt free. When you're in your mid fifties and you're getting close to being 62, you need to get your game together. And that is getting out of the game of owing anybody, anything you want to be able to retire and live your life and do what you want to do because you've only got from 62, 11 years, according to the, uh, the statistics no. as a male to live. Uh, where are you getting this from? Everybody. Um, I gonna really have to pull up statistics from this like CDC or mortality rates of age in the United States for men. We don't have time, but I'll make sure to do it on a shorter video. Left on life. It's, it's and who knows what the last few years could be before you take your last breath. So you, what do you really have? Oh, so you're going to wait. Or I'm just going to say cite your sources, Tim. Why don't you cite your sources in your description box so we know where you're learning all these pearls of wisdom from. Five more years uh, from 62 to 67 to collect Social Security and then only have the sick left years of when you might have a heart attack or contract diabetes <laughs> or need a hip or your eyesight's going bad, your hearing's going bad. You're getting you can't contract diabetes. You develop diabetes over time, type 2 primarily. Type 1 is something that you are unfortunately born with. <laughs> your pancreas just does not produce insulin. And sometimes it takes a long time to find out these people are type 1 diabetics, unfortunately. It's very different when you have it from birth and having it due to developing it. You don't contract. Contract a disease. <sighs> Just expert Tim out here throwing out the words of wisdom. Gizzards are going bad. Your muscles are weak. Your faculties have changed. Something happened to you. And now... You are just existing. Uh, but let's say the other scenario. Let's say you're Jack LaLanne. You live to be 100. You go way past 73. And you're swimming the ocean. You're swimming the, the channel from, uh, uh, what's that prison out there in San Francisco? Alcatraz, right over to the shore and back. You are Superman. All right. So you get more checks. That's all I can tell you. And you're going to be living your life. But for the masses, the average age is 73. No, so where? why the statistics? work till you're 67? And have six years of potentially, you know, and not even reaching 67. Some people die before that. So, I mean, it really is about looking at your life. And earlier when I said it's not meant to support you, you will still need a job, a side hustle, I call it. But this is different than the prison job that you had for 40, 50 or whatever yeah, because years until you reach 62. You won't have any benefits. You won't have any job security like that. You won't be able to get any, you know, benefits of work at all. <laughs> Fucking optical, dental, medical, paid time off. No, you don't get any, you need any of that. 
You could just, you know, be slinging out 15 YouTube videos a day. Feels like to me, Tim, you've got a full-time job with this YouTube at this moment. It's been feeling like a full-time job for me, but I'm I'm up for it this week. I'm powering into it. No, oh, this one, I just got to let him. This is a job that <laughs> you choose to do. Like I used to pass out oh, this food kid. samples standing in the air conditioning oh, at a grocery man. store to me. give people to try. And I had a little vest on, a bow tie, and I met people. And I'm an extrovert, so I enjoyed that. You may be somebody that just wants to uh, work two or three or four hours a day for a company. And that was the persona that Tim sold to everybody initially. Sorry, my nose. Um, initially, when he was presenting, when he kind of hit lucky, because there were some videos originally where he's just showing like him with no shirt on and a gun. <laughs> All star which is very suspicious content. It's not a great store, uh, but that was what he was offering. And then I don't think, and then I guess once he hit this age, he decided he had a bright idea because everybody was making videos about different things during the, uh, the pandemic times. And people were uh, just talking about different types of advice. A lot of people wanted to get out of work early. You know, wanted to be retired at 62, and Tim happened to do it, and he had a YouTube channel. They put out a video with no thumbnail, nothing. And it just happened to catch into the YouTube algorithm at the time. And that was it, and he was off. God, it hasn't he been. And it's been almost a solid, God, it's been a while now, I want to say. I want to say he started coming out when I first started, I think my job at the Cold Cat Rehab. <laughs> I mean, they need somebody to answer their phone for them in the morning <laughs> until they shut down or in the middle of the day. That you may be job. somebody that still, uh, you know, wants to be a labor job and you want to go stock some shelves from about four o'clock in the morning <laughs> till uh, eight or 10 in the morning and be done with your day. You may be somebody that all your life you were a helper or you had a skill set. You were a painter, a plumber, electrician, an auto mechanic. And you have these skills, but now instead of having to go to your dealership or a place where you work, you can have a side hustle and do these kinds of electrical. I promise you, every profession you just mentioned, Tim, and because you've never really had a trade, I promise you their backs are killing them. They don't want to be doing that as their side hustles. <laughs> I've known plumbers to feel already like they can't crawl under another sink by the time they're in the mid-50s. I've known uh auto mechanics who are just by the time they're 50 and they've done it for 30 some years they are tired of being other calls so to suggest that these people might want us to continue doing this as their side hustle which sounds like they're still trapped and they're not free at all i think i'd rather just wait a few more years know that i have a good sum of money in the bank and then i don't have to worry about the side hustle unless i wanted to work or participate in something because it was a pleasure for me not because i needed it literally to live on and the way it's just, it's, it's, people are living much longer. It's, it's, it's just, oh, it's just, he wants everyone doing what he did. <laughs> Plumbing, home repair, automotive repair, these kinds of things. I'm talking to the men now, unless you're a woman and you know how to do those things too, uh, whatever. But oh my God. you can do that on the That's side great. and name your own price instead of getting a little salary and then that your boss take the lion's share. Now you get all the money. You make a deal with somebody <laughs> that you're going to detail their car, repair their car fix their plumbing, put a new wall in, add a room onto their house, what? paint their house, paint the inside of their house. Do this has a lot of work you're talking about there, Tim, for somebody who's supposed to be taking it easy and living their life in retirement. <laughs> but, you know, you, you're going to be pontificating out here in your RV third video of the day in the same, you know, location because you can't get the heat, you can't bear the heat. <laughs> you got to crank out the content because you lost views with Timmy in town. Something From that, that you know how to do, <laughs> fix some kind of electrical thing because you got skills. Oh, and once you get a few customers and people get to know you and run an ad on Craigslist or whatever what? as a handyman, and you just choose your own deal and you make this money just like easy peasy <laughs> and it keeps you busy and keeps you healthy. And everybody wants you to help them out and do these jobs. <laughs> and you're supplementing your social security. I mean, I know almost all these guys that work at their golf courses uh, where I play golf are all on social security and they're in the pro shop taking the money, setting up tea times. Uh, they're out there in the cart barn and they're handing you a key to the cart and they park the carts back in and 
plug them in and oh, charge yeah. them up for the next day. Oh and yeah, you love that, don't you, Tim? Having some older folk who send you money too, also like waiting on your self hand and foot because it's King Tim. Oh my God, this is so different from Dr. Ed Weir's type of explanation. And they get free golf too by doing that, mm. and also making a little bit of money and doing what they want to do. There's all kinds of signs. You can walk dogs. You can do anything. You can even clean houses. You're a clean person. You're a woman that's always kept the house clean. You might have you just a handful of customers. I beg your pardon. The misogyny that is coming out of your 65-year-old mouth at this time is horrendous. <laughs> you know, there's lots of men who like to keep the houses clean too. And maybe, you know, why does somebody want to be cleaning someone's house? Again, that's you talking about physical labor jobs. Why would you just, this doesn't sound great. It doesn't sound like anybody retired. Sounds like you're not going to have good benefits because of, you know, needing to kick out early because you're all going to be dead per Tim, allegedly. They need you to come in every couple of weeks and do it. And you can decide whether you want to do laundry, dusting, windows. You decide. Mm. You're the boss. Oh, and you make Lord. this money. And let's say you have no skills. And you quit your job and you want your social security. You got your 17, your 15, your 18, whatever coming in every month, but you need more. So you go down and be a greeter at uh, Walmart or, or Target. They're paying 16 to $20 an hour, depending on the state you live in. Okay. And you stand there for five or six hours. Part-time people are naming their own hours and their own deal. And that's great because you're not getting the health insurance and all that kind of stuff. You're not well, it depends on the type of company you're working for, whether you're you'll be eligible for benefits depending on how many hours. Sometimes part-time workers can be eligible, especially in industries where there's high need because I'm obviously trying to get ready to return back to work as a private duty registered nurse uh, while I finish graduate school. Obviously, I can't work full-time because I'm a full-time student, and so I have to balance and obviously wanting to bring out some YouTube videos too. Well, obviously what I'm learning in my uh, final um, track of my graduate studies, because I've taken all the core classes um, and one of the specialty track classes, which was advanced pathophysiology. And I'm about to do advanced pharmacology as well as my pharmacology specialty, which would obviously be psychiatric mental health medications. And so that is what... I will be up to in July. Uh, but yeah, I hope then to bring that content. But obviously I work part-time as a registered nurse, but my pay scale is very different, Tim. So, I mean, just, uh, I mean, you're asking people to take in, you know, to, I'd rather just wait and then just be able to kick off and not worry about it. And if I want to participate, like I said, then I have a job which is not going to be as strenuous for me. Because obviously, even though it is somewhat, but seeing patients and so forth, and, you know, after time, you can start cutting back, and then you can retire. You can do so many different types of work. Um, so, yeah, you know. A full-time employee. So that's how you make it, and you have no debt. And you are now from 62 years old, you're living this free life. You're working 8, 10, 20 hours a week, down from 40, 50 hours a week. You're not paying for lunches and dry cleaning gas every day and commuting to this job that paid you pretty good money. That's a half hour away. You're sitting in traffic. Maybe it takes you an hour to get there. You're not dealing with the drama. You're not dealing with all the people you work with. You're not being appreciated. You are now out of the prison job business. You're doing your own thing. And you've got this check, this free money coming in every month like clockwork for the rest of your life till you take your last breath and that amount of money, like my 1700, whatever that, however long I would have to work to make $1,700 is what I, I can work less now. Okay. If I was paid hourly wage and I was getting $15 an hour, you just divide that. That's how many hours less per week or per month that you would have to work. All right. So that's why you collect your social security at 62. You say, wait, that isn't enough. That's not enough money. And that's why no, you get more money. If you want to collect that free check and you want to get Social Security by waiting and people tell you you get more money is a myth, is a scam, is a lie. You get less money. Got it right here, folks. Got it right here. 
and this I've done this so many times, I'm going to do it again. Mm. Because since I've been doing this, there's a lot of people that have not come privy to this information. When I first started making these videos. I just can't. I think his calculations are all screwed up. And one time, Miss Tammy even told him how he messed up his numbers. I think people stopped after that. And that, you know, he's out here. He's got like scratch outs on the paper, on a piece of paper. He's going to point to all these numbers. Ugh, I need Dr. Ed Weir immediately on speed dial to dis discredit what he's saying. I, we're going to, not today, but God. I'll tell you why it hit, uh, it hit the algorithm and I got millions of views. Right after the pandemic, a lot of baby boomers like myself were put out of business, as we all were when the shutdown Didn't happened. Didn't have a business. And their businesses were no longer there after the pandemic, and they wanted to go back to work. Or they were still in business, the businesses they worked for, but they didn't know where they wanted to go back to work. Nobody wanted to work again after the pandemic. So they started searching about collecting their Social Security or their pensions or something, <laughs> and they looked on. Tim, are you listening to my content? I mean, I don't watch you a lot, but this is the, what I spoke about the other day in one of my hate videos was about the uptick because of people that I don't know if you spoke about it before, <laughs> but it's funny because I talked about that very topic. Hmm. I can always tell when these uh, creators have stopped listening to me. I hear my voice from their mouths, if you know what I mean. It's because I'm a very distinct um, user of vocabulary. So I can often, it's a way to easily spot when somebody's heard me. On YouTube, it's more information because yeah. like I said earlier in the video, thousands of people weren't even aware you could collect it at 62. They always heard 65, 67. At 62, uh, even the ones that did hear of it thought, don't do that. You lose money. You don't want to do that. Well, I'm here to tell you folks, that's all BS. You want to get that check as soon as you can except for that one reason. Well, now you're paying for uh, Affordable Care Act, health insurance out of pocket until you reach full Medicare age. So you still have to try to get health insurance. So that's going to have to come out of that $1,700 check. I think I personally would rather wait to full retire. I mean, I'm going to go past that. I'm going to go to the whole full max. And by then I would have had so many years of earning such good incomes. My social security check will be very good. <laughs> because <laughs> it already is pretty decent because I make a decent income. So I, you know, it, but I rather wait. I just rather wait. And it's not supposed to be something that you live off of anyway. You're supposed to have put that money aside. This is the third leg in the stool, they say, so we don't get the pensions like we used to, but it, is supposed to work along with that 401k. But everybody else is supposed to be debt free and doing all these things. But you still owe a fair amount on that EIDL loan. So you're not debt free. Having just used one sum of money to pay off one thing and still owe on that sum of money does not debt free make you. Reason that we talked about earlier. And I'm going to go over the numbers with you right now. But <laughs> most important, before I get into the numbers, and I've started saying this on all these social security videos. Mm. Folks, the average age for a male is 73 no, years old. No, it's not. That's <laughs> a very short life. After you're 21 years old and you're on your own and you work for 40 years and uh, you get to be 62, you've got very little runway in front of you. All right, this video is already long enough, but the next one I'm going to pull up the sting statistic from the CDC because I can't take it anymore. The National Institutes of you know, the Statistics that are taken in, Tim. Don't know where you're getting this 73 from. What, are you sure you looked at the right country on their Google search? View versus the runway behind you. Even if you live to be 80, you got a lot less in front of you. And a lot of those years, even if you go all the way to 80 or 85, are old person years. You're not doing what I'm doing today. You're not doing what you're doing today if you're in your 50s or 60 years old. You're going to be much older and you will degrade very rapidly. Proof? You want proof? People in their mid to late 80s, or 80s, yes. 80s who were in cardiac rehab with me, still driving and stuff.
still wanting to fully live their lives. In fact, I've got the book from one of the gentlemen over here in my house somewhere. It's probably on the chair. But he had been a, a like a signal guy in the Navy. He had a flight squad thing. He had been a pilot and stuff. <laughs> and he was the character. Oh, my goodness, Tim. <laughs> Look how you grew from 12 to 17 years old. Oh, from 12 to 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Look at your life, how you turned from a child to an adolescent <laughs> to a young adult. Look how you became a full-grown bear at 30 years old, 40 years old. What has this got to do with this Social Security? <laughs> Other than filling up time. Years old. Look how you came into who you are. With all your skills, your talents, your full length, your full body, everything, men and women. Well, the same thing's going to happen to you folks as that roller coaster gets to the top and starts to go downhill. And man, does it go downhill a lot quicker than it goes uphill. <laughs> and so from 62 years old to 67 is a huge change in your life. Not if you've taken fairly good health care of your health. I was listening to the doctor's radio today, which is one of my favorite stations. And there was a lady who was in her 70s who was very healthy. I mean, the doctors were, you know, telling her not to worry about anything. That she, you know, she had a clean calcium score, you know, all sorts of stuff. So, but she probably was doing, she was getting doctor's checks and stuff, you know, doctors, you know, how dare they help people try to, you know, get preventative care or something. For most yeah, people. The third it's true. killers. And from 67 to 73, the average lifespan is another big, you're really on that roller coaster going down. <laughs> and from 73 to 80, if you go that far, 85, you are, you know, you're bottoming out and you're just, if you're not an old people's home, you're sitting around, you can't take the heat, you can't take the cold, you can't go out and walk as long as you used to, you can't run as fast and as far as you used to. You I promise you, I had an 85-year-old patient who was always trying to hit me up and get me to go out and have margaritas with him. <laughs> when I worked the cardiac rehab. And he was still flying to visit his children across the United States persistently. And this man was in his mid-80s, okay? So stop. And he had every zest for life. His heart, unfortunately, was starting to give him trouble. Uh, but he had beans about him. So I just, I don't like this. I did gerontology. Originally, I was going to do acute care, adult gerontology nurse practice, which is kind of like a hospitalist. Uh, but I decided that I'd rather go the other route. But uh, yeah, so I started to study medicine for uh, seniors. And you're rude. <laughs> you may not even be able to drive. Your eyesight's bad. You had a stroke. You got a bad hip. You, you, <sighs> your hearing is no good. You're an old person. I'm going to be an old person. Is that life? Is that the life you want by giving your life? And there's people who get cochlear implants. I worked with a physician who had cochlear implants. I've worked with many a doctor who are in their 70s. Some of them, they do want to retire. But some of them just love being doctors. And, and they work part time. They still want to be there doing medicine. Some people actually love what they do, Tim. <laughs> I know it's something that's hard for you to fathom. Away and wanting to just work, work, work till you're 67 or 70. And don't you see that little window I just showed you that if you go from 62 to 67, those are prime, prime years. It should be 55 retirement. They should give us our Social Security at 55 years no. old because you're not going to live to be 110. So you're way past halfway point. You're only going to be to 75 to 80 at the most. Most people. Look at the statistics. Look at the. Oh, so you're saying like 25, 30 years, you just bum around shilling crackers and living on the lowest end of Social Security? Oh, sounds like a dream. Ugh. There are people that do that, but they travel. They have other goals. A lot of people get retired and return to work because they're bored. Yeah. Look at the people <laughs> that you know. They don't even make it to 62 <laughs> or 67. They're sitting there waiting for that extra 600 bucks and uh, they die. And all they did was die while they were still working their prison job. So let's talk about the money so now, rude. which is not the most important part. The most important part <laughs> is living your life. Nobody's promised tomorrow. I'm living a life. Watch my videos. Watch my other videos besides these. Watch my living life videos. And you will see that I'm convinced. I've convinced myself. I've, I've done this for all my life. I've been semi-retired for many years because of the business that I had. I was self-employed. And I would never give my life. Well, Semi-retired? Well, how did you get such a large EIDL loan? 
if you were semi-retired from a one-man show. Because I took one out, too, and I was very honest, and I got $1,200. <laughs> and I sent it back to the government for taxes, probably on the business I had, because I still had my business, which was affected, because I could not get out and around patients. I had to be very limited, because I didn't want to... Anyway. <sighs> $58,000 just, and he's just cannot believe because Tim never would have been able to have secured a loan like that from the, from a bank ever. And he has just been balling and tripping ever since. And then that one video, Oh my goodness. Life away. My best years, my best weeks, my best hours of the day. You want me to give to some prison job? to some employer that wants to give me this much of the profits while he makes this much and gets every nickel he can out of me. And if I don't do it exactly right, I'm fired. And then if he releases me at four or five o'clock and says, go home, get a shower, get something to eat, pick up your dry cleaning, do whatever you're going to do, watch your TV program, go to sleep, get a good night's rest. And then tomorrow morning, be right back here. That's what a prison job is. So when you get 62, tell him I'm out, get your free check, work your side hustle. You call the shots. And you start living your life. I swear, I had a prison job at the cardiac rehab. And I used to say it felt like I was going to summer camp. Because <laughs> I had so much fun with the patients. It was a pleasure to work with people and, and watch them return to health after a serious cardiac event. And have the expertise to care for these people and read telemetry all at the same time. And I'm in my 50s. I don't feel... And I'm going into graduate school. You're making out I need to be dead. I have like three gray hairs, Tim. <laughs> I still feel like I'm 20 sometimes. Look at Jennifer Lopez. What are you talking about? I'm not a fan of hers, but she looks good for her age. Right. Get out there and play some golf. Oh, get, you, get you a oh, camper and start traveling. Become home. a full-time RVer. Get rid of all your debt. Live in your little house, sell your home, make your profits, put your money in the bank, get yourself a small place, rent, buy a little villa or something, or a condo. Don't cut grass anymore. Get rid of all that stuff in your house. Get rid of all them uh, things you got in that garage. Become a minimalist. Just live your life. All you need, as far as I'm concerned, is a place to recharge. You're not a minimalist. Don't even. You're, you've already said in the previous video that you and Miss Tammy are getting a two-bedroom, two-bathroom house. You've bought 14 golf outfits in the last three days. And you are already out of your cowboy phase. <laughs> and you have three cowboy hats that sit in the back. So you are anything but a minimalist. This is what you were able to acquire through a uh, fraudulently, in my opinion, taken EIDL loan. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in, in YouTube. Otherwise, you wouldn't be stood in this. What, what are you teaching us anything about Social Security? Rambling. Ramble, rambling, rambling. We got your battery there. that's safe Wrap it up, and low cost and go out and do and run around, take cruises, go see the country, live your life before you're, you're out of here. Cruises now, let's talk about the money, the meat of this uh, video. At 62 years old, we're going to use me for an example. Yeah. I get $1,700 a month times 12 months is $20,400. It's nothing. $20,400 every year I get put in my bank. <laughs> now wait, I know you know about the COLA, cost of living adjustment. We're not going to we're not going to talk about that. Well, yeah, I'll get a little bit more money next year. Uh, you know what they give us? It's not even worth adding because where they give us uh they take away in the Medicare. I mean, it ends up being like too much 20 to $40 to each year. Cost of living you get adjustment. more. 2 years ago we got the biggest in 40 years about $150 more a month. That was a good one. But generally, and maybe they'll do it again. Uh, generally, they don't want to give us any more. So I get, just say it never goes up, and it's going to. I get $20,400 a year. Okay. I also get uh, $20,400 a year for five years compared to my twin brother over here. He said, no, no, I'm going to wait till I'm 67, and I'm going to get $600 more. He wants that $600 more. So he says, I'm going to wait five more years. I say, okay. So. During that five years of $20,400 for five years at age 67, I've got $102,000 plus my side hustle money that I've made. In my work, Tim, in, in that amount of time and sort of projected incomes, I, I'm probably going to be <laughs> close to a million. <laughs> 
from working that prison job. I hate to say it, especially with, you know, probably things changing over time. To the You know, and over time, you just get expertise. You start to make more money, especially in shortage areas in healthcare. So people are more aware with mental health. We have a lot of shortages. So obviously it's competitive for healthcare systems and places to want to hire you. So there's a lot of negotiation that's involved. But a lot of sign-on bonuses. My God. Have you ever I had twenty-five thousand dollars, I think it was. Was it twenty-five? I think it was twenty-five. I want to say it was twenty-five thousand dollars. Obviously, it got taxed to the wazoo. Um, over a year. So it was like every six months I got part of it. It was and it was staggered because one was from a sign-on bonus and one was from referring another nurse to the hospital. And it happened to kind of coincide at the same time. So I was, I, yeah, it was $25,000 in a year bonus, just a sign-on bonus and a referral bonus from the prison job that I loved going to because I loved helping people. And I really love my profession. Oh, no, I'll, I'll stick with my plan. Thank you. I don't intend to have any health issues as best as I can avoid. This is one that obviously is uh, not my fault, my doctor said. <laughs> so, but obviously it's frustrating and I understand, but this could have happened if I was young too. It just was a matter of the draw and probably my profession, <laughs> exposure. <sighs> anyway. In the back. And 102,000 of it, I didn't, even, I didn't even have to do anything. I didn't even have to work. <laughs> They're emptying the dumpster next door. I thought somebody was doing something. I didn't have to do anything. I got $102,000 sent to me, put in my bank. Free. Okay? Now my twin brother gets to be the age of 67. He gets his first check. He's got 600 bucks more coming in that I'm getting. But I've already got $102,000. All right? So the, the next level is, let's go to the 73 I'm years old. I'm not saying that's all right here, 73 years old. $20,400 a year. That's 11 years I've been collecting, and I will have $224,400 that I have collected in the bank. $224,000, a quarter of a million dollars almost, all right? Not including my side hustle money, all right? And then that's at 73 years old. He, my twin brother, he started collecting. He got $600 more, and so he finally started getting $2,300 a month, and at 12 months, he gets $27,600 a year. But he had to wait till 67 to get that first, first check. Remember, I already collected 102,000. But now we're 73 years old and I've been collecting for 11 years and collected $224,000. He's been collecting for only six years at the bigger amount. And he's got $165,600. He's still $58,800 less money after collecting it for six years after waiting for five years. Yeah, but maybe he doesn't have to do that side hustle that you're talking about. So maybe he's free and clear to retirement. Because <laughs> he's got more, he's had more time to accumulate more wealth through work. <laughs> There's already problems with ageism in the workforce, Tim, and you're not helping the matter. There's to get this, and then six years later, at the average age of dying, he's still fifty-eight thousand. He's still fifty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars short of what I've collected. <sighs> now let's go to the next level. I'm eighty years old, and I've reached the end of my life. But I started collecting my twenty thousand four hundred dollars. I didn't get any. I I'm just trying to figure out. How you're reaching this gentleman at 67 and him being $600 more. Because I'm trying to figure out what type of job would he have had that put him still with even more years of working at your level of social security. <laughs> I don't know if this is a fair comparison. <laughs> Because you weren't a high earner or you're, you're half of your ex-spouses or whatever it is in the benefits planner. You don't 
especially if you, it's got all these rules. I, I really want to know if he's on the ex spousal because then it would be fascinating to it's compare. What he says I didn't get the cola. True. I just got twenty thousand four hundred dollars plus all my side hustle money, whatever I was able to put in my pocket on the side. And for eighteen years, I collected, and I I drew three hundred and sixty-seven thousand two hundred dollars. All right, for eighteen years, not too bad, free money, and eighteen years of it. Okay, my twin brother, he started five years later, and now he's been he he also is the end of his life at eighty years old, <laughs> and he got the twenty-seven thousand six hundred because he got six hundred bucks more. Because he didn't make he any collected money and he at the end of his life. Was ten three hundred and fifty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars, right there. He is still at eighty years old at the end of his life, eight thousand. Four hundred dollars oh, less yeah. money he collected oh, than I did so by by starting mine at sixty-two, and him <laughs> waiting five years and almost a few years eyebrow. left of the average lifespan. Oh. And he's at the end of his life. He waited that five years. He's still over eight thousand. It's just I know this is all janked up. This math and it's just because I know Tim is barely graduated high. Didn't graduate high school, so I know he thinks it's. He's being so smart about this. When you come out with a piece of paper that looks like this, it doesn't look like you know what you're talking about. And I just, I need to see with, you know, more statistical information behind these figures. And I need an expert. And I know I've looked at some of this with Dr. Ed Weir on this channel with Tim before too, because he's always putting out this false narrative. People wanted to retire at 62, that's fine, but they understand the, penalties and losses from early retirement unfortunately it's how it is now <laughs> government says you can work longer and keep adding to the work you know because we have also you know uh, it's just complex we're living longer why would we not want to work longer than i got by taking it at 62 <laughs> and getting 600 dollars less because they don't want you to collect right away they will have to give you more money they don't want to give you any money. They hope you die. Are you kidding me? You're not even, you know, paying a lot of taxes anymore and a big wage earner anymore. You're retired. You're, you're not worth helping out. They don't want to give you anything. They hope you die. And nobody gets that money. Now, listen. I don't know. One of the strongest voting arms has always been retirees. <laughs> Ugh, you are so... I don't know how anybody who is actually retired is feeling respected when listening to Tim. Cause I feel he's very disrespectful to older folk. And maybe that was disrespectful. Some people say you get more than $600 more. You get more. All right, let's go to $700. This part will be real quick. I promise $700 more. So now at $2,400 instead of 23 mm -hmm. times 12 months, you get $28,800 a year. Not and much. when you get to be in six years, if you wait till you're 67, in six years, at 73 years old, you'll have $172,800 you collected. But now you're instead of $58,000 uh, less, you're $51,000, 516 you still collected less. And then at 80 years old, you collected for 13 years, you get the bigger check, $700 more money. You got $374,000 you collected. Zero wealth and increased nothing in the Social Security in those extra years to full retirement. Which is never put into this equation. You've got $7,200 more money. You went over at 80 years old at the $700 more. You finally went over and collected $7,200 more than I did. He thinks he's My twin brother, he collected that much money. And, and the $7,200 over 18 years, because he waited from 62, he got a whopping $400 more a year average. And guess what that is? $400 more a year divided by 12 months. He got $33.33 more per month. If he makes it to 80, he'll get that $33. Now, folks, if that doesn't prove it, I don't know what does. Math is math. You can take any numbers you want. Yeah. Like you can go to $800 more. And it's not if you wait. Uh, till you're 67. It's not $800. It's, it's People who have the means, Tim, <laughs> promise you, they're not squabbling about this type of uh, <laughs> social security.
you're definitely appealing, but this is not, you're not going to appeal to my generation. You know, maybe some, you know, there's some loafers out there. <laughs> I'm teasing. Most people I know are still very vibrant and working. Gosh, I don't know. I just feel like my this is not aimed. Your audience is this age and you're talking schmack. <laughs> I need to see what your age of your average audience is. It's not any more than $700, I don't believe. You know, because based on you don't your, believe. what you're I checking you had at 62 numbers. versus what you get at 67, it's still, you know, the difference. Your difference. Not my, not what you get versus what I get. What oh. you get at 62 and what you get at 67. And these people that talk about what they get at 67 or 70, they come up with this thousands of dollars more a month or $1,500 more a month. Hooey. That is hooey. You get exactly what they say you get. The 8%, and it only happens from 67 to 70, that... Uh, thirty percent more money. Uh -huh. It's very, very little each year to sixty-seven. <laughs> it only grows a lot more if you wait till you're seventy. That's just plain. Oh well, so that sounds pretty good to me. Because <laughs> that's only fifteen years away from me, and I feel young at at fifty-five. My grandmother lived well into her nineties, and she did terrible about her health care really she was terrible so i expect because there's longevity if everything goes well that i should too to have a long life and that's what i should plan for oh my god you've got me buried so yeah i'll wait for that extra 30 then at 70 oh heck yeah <laughs> you know, and, and more 401k. If I get the blessings, as you like to say, to work that long, I'm taking it. To... Nuts, in my opinion. Oh, okay. I mean, you're, you're almost dead. You know, you're, you're, you're going to be dead soon at 70. I mean, what do you got left? You know? uh, we have two people running for presidential office far older than that, Tim. What do you want to say to them? Mm. And that's supposedly a stressful job. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I've got a few seconds. You don't have 20 years, do you? Not good life. So 62, you get a free check, you get a side hustle, you start living your life, you go like this to your prison job, and you start crushing it. Oh, just stop. <laughs> Thank God there was a cat afterwards. I am so glad there was a cute cat at the end of that because we needed something like that. Oh my God, another hour long video. I apologize. Jesus. I just, all right, I'm just ending this one. <laughs> I think that's all I need to say. If you do like this type of content, subscribe, uh, hit the likes and so forth. Leave me a piece of uh, notebook or something in the comment section if you actually made it this far. God. Yeah, they kill my channel, Tim. YouTube's not going to know what to do with this. <laughs> and of course, I want to thank Blind Views for having become a new member to my channel. Thank you so much for that support. I also want to thank all of these wonderful people who show support to my channel too and help me, um, you know, just pay for the um, stuff to run even my little stream yard and things. So I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, I've got probably more videos to make. God knows how many he's uploaded about golf. Okay, wish me the best. Bye. Bye.